and an update tonight on a six investigate story we brought you last week. Today, Jim Wells County Commissioners voted unanimously to a resolution to oppose the permit renewal of the Blackhorn Environmental Waste Disposal Facility in Orange Grove. Chief Investigator Matt Stevens is here for the story. That's a big development, Matt. Yeah, Seth, as we told you last week, the uh, controversial facilities permit is already being recommended for renewal by the Railroad Commission staff. The formal vote by the three-member commission itself is likely to happen during an open meeting in Austin on March 9th. Residents near this disposal site, just a few miles from Orange Grove High School, have been complaining about the odor and the trucks and the blinding lights since it opened two years ago. Tara Jones wanted the county commissioners to see the 46 pages of odor logs she's kept over 63 weeks. I have 226 days with an average of 4.3 days per week that I step out of my house and I smell this facility. In a December interview, Blackhorn officials called theirs the most technically advanced and thoroughly inspected railroad facility in Texas. And it's the Railroad Commission alone that decides whether Blackhorn gets to operate for another five years. Whew. Yeah, I see it's a very unpleasant smell. But will the consistent stench and the rumbling trucks and the blaring lights and the possibility of some unforeseen accident that county officials admit they're not prepared to handle be enough to persuade the RRC to go against the recommendation of their staff? Adopted this 26th day of February 2021. County Judge Juan Rodriguez says he'll be calling all the state representatives to mount a final charge. This is what we could do today for the citizens and the residents and on our part because our limited authority, you know. How, we, yeah, how much more do they need to... to, to exactly, that's know. a good question. How much more uh, or... What exactly is going to it take for them to realize the safety concerns and the dangers that are out there? As we reported last week, there have been documented incidents of neighbors being treated for nausea, eye irritation, and breathing difficulty, and an air quality inspector was overcome as well, but we haven't heard of long-lasting effects, and to date, no issues with water, according to state officials. We'll, of course, let you know what happens at the hearing March 9th. Seth? Okay, Matt, thank you for that update.